Hey guys, welcome to the next part of Let's Play Football Manager 2015 with Derby. And as promised, it's time for another cup final. Yes, my second League Cup final. You may remember I was here in 2020 with Aston Villa. We unfortunately lost with uh, against Liverpool that time. Bit of a mismatch, to be honest. We went... I mean, we had, obviously, some quality, but uh, Liverpool had way more quality than us. So um, this one, I feel, is going to be a lot more... I was going to say, it's going to be a bit closer, let's put it that way. Um, Arsenal are decent. They've, they've obviously, on this save, been quite... Well, at times, they've been quite poor. I mean, you may remember a few years ago, they were scrapping to just stay in the top half. But this, as you saw in the last video... Um, they are doing a lot better, obviously. They're not quite keeping up with Manchester United and Liverpool, but they're still in that sort of sort of top four, top five section of the league. Um, if you'd like to know how we got here or anything like that, please do watch the last video. Everything will be explained in here. This is just the live commentary. Uh, but before we do go into it, I do want to go over some um, Arsenal players, as there are, you know, it is 2023, there are going to be a few more regens in now and things like that. Players you might not necessarily have heard of. So, um, Obviously, I'm not every one of these as a regen. I just want to point out, but there are certain players that you know you might not, may never have heard of, or something like that. So we've got the I believe is the current trans Trabs on Sport goalkeeper, and that's Onyo Kivrak. I'm not going to go through each one. Granero, that is uh, not Esteban Granero. That is in fact a Jose Maria Granero, who is a uh, right back. Uh, Jesus Valio, who is currently. Well, that's obviously he's not at Liverpool. I don't think he's at Liverpool. He might be, uh, but I've not heard of him unless he's in the under 18s, of course. Um, here's a regen: Kevin McKenzie, dangerously close to the former editor of the Sun, Kelvin McKenzie. That would make me hate him immediately. Uh, this guy's really good. Um, well, I say really good, very good. Uh, Jamel Kazri, again, <laughs> another dangerously similar name this time to Sami and Azri. Uh, he is awesome. Great left back, as you can see. The I mean. The uh, scouts obviously have found him, but check out those physicals. I mean, uh, 20 stamina, 18 acceleration. He's got 18 leadership, potential future captain there. Um, he looks really good. He is a danger. Uh, they have another one. He's in Czech region this time, Andre Vesely. Uh, obviously still got a bit to develop. Obviously, you know, his technicals aren't quite all there. It's decent long shots. Now that I've highlighted that, he is going to score a 25-yard screamer. <laughs> Um, we have Patrick Barker, who is a... Wow, they're actually starting a 16-year-old in a cup final. He doesn't even look... Wow. Decent signing for most league... Wow. I know Arsenal like to play the kids, but geez, uh, Probably their... I was going to say, yeah, probably their best player. That is, of course, Julian Brandt here. They signed for just under £20 million pounds from Wolfsburg, uh, who... As of well, at the start of this game, at least he was at Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, we also have Angel Correa, who let's see, he also looks like a decent player. Is at Atletico Madrid, signed from San Lorenzo. Uh, he was at Liverpool briefly, but as as ever, we get a decent player, don't really use him, and then sell him on for a small fee. <laughs> Certainly a lot smaller than the one we paid for. Uh, Saramago, yeah, Vasco Saramago, is um, twenty two year old Portuguese. He wow, he's been all over the place. Look at this! Oh my god, he's been. I know he's been loaned out quite a while. I think Arsenal paid four hundred k for him from uh, Belenen. Belenen says there we go. Yeah, he's been to Partick Thistle, Kilmarnock, Stade Rene, West Brom, and all over the place. And lastly, uh, not a regen. Oops, wrong one. Not a regen. Uh, CB Shrivers, I think is how you pronounce that. Please do correct me if I'm wrong. Um, another pretty good striker. He's pretty dangerous I mean 17 finishing is pretty good 17 composure 17 agility acceleration that's what you look for you know in a striker not all of them things obviously but the one and two I always look for are finishing and composure and maybe also decisions as well and if I'm really going to you know expand the search uh, I also look for concentration uh, anticipation and off the ball they're generally the things I look for in a striker. Obviously, not everyone will agree with that. Obviously, other people will say, oh, no, you should look for this. Uh, that's just what I recommend. If you're going to go into the search bar and have a look for a striker, especially you know when you start getting into this time in the game where regens really do start cropping up on a lot, you know, really... Um, I was going to say, they're about 22, 23, 24 years old now, players where you can really start to throw them into your team first time, you know, without having to wait. So... Yeah, that's what I look for. Anyway, enough messing around. Stuart Perry starts. Um, 
he has five goals this season. This is not the usual formation I play. Again, as I mentioned in the last video and the previous other videos, I change the formation game by game. I know I probably shouldn't do that. Sometimes, obviously, depending on who we play, I usually stick with the same formation three or four times. But obviously, we're against Arsenal. I'm going to be a bit more defensive. Obviously, Christopher Ayer. Um, I was originally going to have Ayer here as a regista and Poyet as a halfback. But then we had this gap in midfield and I wasn't quite sure what to do with it. So I settled on this and you know, with Gray and Lingard on the wings. Derrida and Perry up top. And um, yeah, no Carl Jenkinson. So thankfully he has been absolutely atrocious this season. Well, let's get to it then. So um, we are now, I'd say, God, well, technically nine years into this save. And I've yet to win a trophy. The only thing I've won has been a manager of the year when that was at Newcastle. Um, I probably shouldn't going to say control let's leave it at standard for now so we're not screwing too many things oh and that's a good save from stevens in case you don't know who this stevens is if you are just tuning in for the live commentary this guy is and the game says it himself he's a wonder kid uh twat signed for just well oh hang on chance for lingard oh uh signed for i think it was 13 million pounds for manchester united he's only 21 years old and um i mean what, what i love about this kid is if he stays, if I'm able to keep hold of him, he could be my goalkeeper for the next 13, 14, 15 years. And that's an insane amount of time. Obviously, I'm gambling on the fact I'm still going to be here in 13 or 14 years' time, of course. Oh, Brian should have scored. Right, okay, that's clearly not working for us at the moment. I'm tempted to... Okay, let's go high tempo and be a bit more disciplined. I'm not going to keep that off. I only usually have that... Um, when we're playing weaker teams, I probably should have turned that one off. I was a big person of always saying, look for overlap. I always do look for overlap until I realised what I, what would happen is my fullbacks would just, it would most of the time, would just involve them just lumping the ball up the field to just no one. They're not actually looking for an overlapping runner. They're just sort of hitting it away, as far as I could see. And unless I've done something else for them to do that, then I have no explanation for why they were doing it, other than they were looking for an overlap. But it didn't work like they went looking for an overlapping player so the whole plan just fell apart immediately anyway um wow it's half time already we are on key highlights not extended as i personally think extended highlights are pointless and um well as expected obviously with just one up front we haven't had that many shots only two in fact although we have had one clear cut chance i guess that was lingard shot before um lingard who is a desperately frustrating player at times he can win you the game like that but also times he can just give the ball away in stupid areas. You know, oh, probably mentioned it before, but he is such a pain in the ass, right? Dorita can't. Mm, Dorita can play up front. Of course he can. Um, let's go structured for now. Hmm. Titan marking. I don't even think that was doing anything, but we'll keep it. I don't know what else to do at the moment, so I'm just going to keep them instructions on. Malone should not be a wing back; he should be a limited full back. That was my fault. Um, I think Jenkinson is a wing back. I forgot to change that back. That's one thing you've got to remember, guys. Just change your damn player roles. If something's not working, make sure the player roles are correct. If not, then obviously the problems go deeper than that. But it can start. I mean, I say, I mean, I'm look, <laughs> Derida here is a false nine. There is no false nine for where he plays. I mean, theoretically, I could do this. Have have that as a false nine. And I think, do you know what? I think I will. But I'm going to prove something to you right now. False nines don't work. <laughs> for me, I've never had a false nine work on this game. Even remotely work, in fact. Just, the, just the, the, they might as well just be excluded from the game as far as I'm concerned. Perry playing in his uh, complete forward role that he likes. He's got 15 goals a season, uh, seems to work for him. But yeah, false nines, for me, they do not work. I've never really had any amount of success with them. Oh, they've brought Juan Mata on, who I think is getting on a wee bit now. I think he's about 30-something. Uh, let's see then. So obviously there should be more highlights in this half. Oh, oh there he is, immediately. <laughs> one matter right okay obviously we're gonna have to go start go for it now a bit let's push higher up I, I was gonna put drop deeper but i'm not a fan of doing that usually it does invite pressure well stevens he maybe should have saved that but matter we'll go on Lingard. he's got that here we go oh, see what i mean about frustrating and now 
I knew, I just knew that one. I saw that one coming a mile away. Absolutely saw it coming a mile away. And, oh, he's off. The captain, Shane Duffy, is off. Oh, dear. Deary, deary me. Um, shit. <laughs> well, you're 1-0 down. You're in a bloody cup final. Let's go fluid. <sighs> dear me. Well, I'm going to have to take... Uh, I need to reinforce that back line because it's not going to... Tell you what, I'm going to have to take A year off, but he's not done anything. Um, do I really want to bring... I'll bring Hector on. Oop, wrong one. No, I hate this screen. Absolutely. I hate that little screen. It's these little... Like this. The, the, if, the, if I could remove one thing from the mind, it'd be this. I hate them. It takes ages to load as well. I hate these things. Please get rid of them. Uh, but other than that... Um, I want to drop Poyet. I'm going to have to do this again. I have to drop Poyet back. He can. Well, he says he plays best as a Regista. When he was here, he was a half back. The game has changed to a Regista. It does change quite a bit. So we're going to be 2 0 down here unless Stevens pulls something magical out here. Julian Brand, of course, who is a very good player. I would recommend signing him if you get the chance. Here we go. Penalty. Oh, Stevens saved it. He has wonderfully. But it's 10 men. I don't know how much longer. Wow. <laughs> if we do this now, I'm going to be amazed. Um, I don't really want to gamble too hard because, well, the problem is it's not really working out of the way. I was going to say, if we gamble too hard, we're going to lose 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 nil, And that will look embarrassing. Problem is, you can't. We're already pushing higher up, so. I'm really struggling on what to do here. I've not got much of a plan, to be honest. Let's see, will the game unpause itself randomly? No, nope. I need to change my tactics. It won't let me. There we go. Uh, well, Perry has not done a whole lot, to be honest with you. I will bring on Mahoney because he, although not great, I'll be honest, is quite sprightly. And I usually play him as an, as an advanced forward. I think Dre should also be support. Yeah, let's go with that. Apparently the game was very adamant it wasn't a red card with all the Derby players furiously protesting. But yeah, as you can see, not really. We'll probably lose this within a few minutes, in a few seconds. Lingard will probably. Oh no, oh, there we go, straight pass. Well, it's good fighting from Derby, but it's not really going to be enough, is it? Look at the room in midfield. I know it's because there's a big gap there, obviously. I can't do much. The We're down to 10 men, lads. I can't, <laughs> I can't exactly sew that up. We're 1-0 down. We need a goal. Here is a chance, and there is Mahoney. I told you, his sprightness, and Gray has equalised. I do not believe it. Ten men, and we're back in it. Is it going to be another cup final disaster for Arsenal? Shades of Birmingham. Oh dear, Diego Poyet's injured. I think he's okay. It's not going to be Shades of Birmingham, surely. I've, I've just ignited the... Oh, he should have scored Kasri. That was right at Stevens. Oh, it's not a great throw either, but... No way. Surely not. Am I going to FM? FM. <laughs> I've, I've actually done that a fair few times, actually. I'm quite proud that I've actually done that. Oh, my God. I just wouldn't turn, but there's a chance. Jesse Lingard. Still a chance. It's still... Oh, great! Inches away. Absolutely inches. Imagine if that had gone in. Bloody hell, we're doing well. Look at Mahoney. He's in space and he should have done better. Gray, still Gray. It's Mahoney again who's offside. My God, it's absolutely breathless all of a sudden. Oof. Well, we might actually be going to extra time. Unless, unless, oof. Last chance, surely, here for Arsenal. Matter takes Gray away. Well, he's done very well. Well, somehow. Well, I can tell you what, that is unbelievable. We are still in this. Missed penalty from Brandt. Stevens with a wonderful... Save. He's only on a 6.8. Are you joking? Gotta be kidding me with that. Right, Lewis Allen, the new signing. Does he come on? Derrida has not done a whole lot. But I kind of like him in that position. Hmm. It does seem to be sort of working. Lingard, uh, he's, a big, he's a big player. Allen hasn't been massively convincing for me so far. Yes, he's scored a couple of goals, but they were quite scrappy goals. I think it was a couple of goals. Uh, he's scored at least one, I know that. Debate whether to bring him on or not. No, I'm not going to. Just in case Poyet gets injured or anything like that, 
you know, we're down to 10 men, you've got to play a bit safer. So what we're doing at the moment does seem to be working, so I'm going to leave it. It might be a bit suicidal. No nope, chance from a corner. Hector going in, there's the reader. Lingard puts it across. Hector! Oh! No way! He's how oh, let me just watch that one again. I've got to watch it again. Where are we? Oh hang on, this one, sorry, gone too far. Let's rewind this back. Oh hang on, no. Highlight. Where where's the friggin' highlight? There it is. No, it's not, it's not doing it. Where the hell is it? There it is. God. Let's have a look at this one again. It's an action replay. Oh should he score? I mean, he's under a bit of pressure from the Arsenal defender. But should he score? I think he should. You know, he's only about four, three, four, three or four yards out. Surely we're not going to penalties. Surely not. Also, ever since we, ever since we've changed, it's it's just been. I don't believe this. Well, Poyet absolutely knackered. So is Malone. I want to. I want to. I do want to bring Allen on, but I don't think he plays. I'll tell you what, let's try this. Bring to bring the reader off. Allen goes there. Mahlo Mahoney goes there. Where does he play? He plays well as a winger. Well, you can't play as a winger, unfortunately, my friend. You're going to put to play as a shadow striker. Oh no, 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 no! Let's not do shadow striker. Let's just have attacking midfielder support. That just drops him back a bit. So he's essentially playing as a midfielder. Ooh, this is too tense. It's going to go all the way through. Wow, no highlights at all, and it has just gone immediately to penalties. <laughs> what? What? It's gone straight to Ash. No, maybe not have taken the reader off. He's actually quite decent at penalties. I've just brought Lewis Allen on, who is shit at penalties. Well, that's wonderful. I should have known that as well. That was one of the things I noted when I first signed him. He's crap at penalties. Ugh, damn. Right. Well, if you would have offered me penalties after Duffy got sent off, I would have snapped your hand off for it. We bloody well should have won this. <laughs> right. Here we go. Penalties. Jesse Lingard is first up. Get rid of that bloody offside bar. Thank you. Well, even if we don't win here, this has been a monumental achievement to just get to penalties with 10 men against Arsenal. And damn well, as I say, should have won it. Here we go then to win the first trophy of the uh, the game. And that's 1-0. Uh, Granero first up for Arsenal, oh my goodness gracious me, he skied it horribly Hector makes it 2-0 to Derby, goodness gracious me, Juan Mata he won't miss, of course he won't miss of course he doesn't, Stevens went the right way but Juan Mata, he's always going to score there, Scott Malone, oh dear he's missed, I don't believe it, he's hit the post that's a shocker from Malone and his shrivers to put it back to, oh he's missed oh my god, Diego Poyet, he's injured but he's a very good pound take. oh he's missed as well Oh my god, right, Kazri, chance for Arsenal, it's 2-2, this is basically sudden death, it's basically sudden death, Gray, for Derby, missed, Kivrak has missed, he saved it, and Samurag, oh, it's unbelievable, this is, on. it's Stevens. it's the goalkeeper, he scored, the young goalkeeper has scored, and now Valeco for Arsenal has to score, and he does score, oh, imagine if Stevens has scored the winning penalty, Oh, this is Brett. I love this. Oh, Oduro is messed. I shouldn't have said I loved it because quick, quick fire penalties is really good to watch, isn't it? And there you go, Arsenal. Yeah. <sighs> bloody, ah, oh, bloody hell. Well, the fact that we were even able to, as I said, the fact that we were even able to get to penalties is. Just amazing. I mean, how long play out for? Two or three weeks, that's fine. Duffy, well, I'm sorry, you're going to have to issue the warning because that was mindless. Uh, oh, sure, off. I don't even answer these anymore. The good thing about FMC is you can, of course, just ignore them. Biggest overachievers. We got to the bloody final. Well, 4 3 penalty loss. Um, well, let's have a look. Let's go back over that one because that went far too quickly. Um, I said Diego Poyet was good at penalties. I think I jinxed him there, didn't I? Let's just have a look back over then. This um, let's over have a look over this penalty shootout because that was absolute. I just I barely had time to catch me breath. My God! Right, full time. Right, this is the first penalty. It was Lingard. 
So as Lingard out wins it 1-0. At this great at this rate, Granero of course missed. This is a horrible miss. Keeper didn't even move. And Hector, so at this point I'm thinking, fantastic. How did Arsenal come back from this? Imagine if Juan Mata had missed here. This that would have, that was the decider for me. And Stevens gets so close to it as well. And Malone. I think the keeper would have saved that actually, if he, even if he hadn't have. Uh, you see, it's still at this point. What was it? Uh, two one still. Diego Poyet. I brought him in because he's a cool, calm, collected player. He hits the bar. That for me, that that was the decisive penalty for me. That one, Poy Poy had scored, and you know, I mean, I'm just looking at these now. I mean, it's not, they're not great penalties, really. All round, they're not really. I can't believe Stevens actually done this and scored. I didn't even realize he was there. Imagine though, imagine the results. But this is the one here. A Dioro. I've barely gave, given... We seem to hit a lot of... Most of our penalties did seem to hit the bar quite a lot. Well, I hope you enjoyed that just as much as me. In which case I did, even though we lost. It's still no trophies. If we go on here, as you can see, zero trophies won. Yes, okay. We do have... I've had one manager of the year. We've won friendly tournaments and all this crap. But still, the thing is, zero trophies won. We're of course out the FA Cup, won by Arsenal there, the Capital One Cup. We're not going to win the league. It may very well be then 10 years or more into the game before my first trophy. Not really good, is it? It's kind of amazing that really. I mean, I'm quite happy with how I'm going along. And the fact that I've been able to get jobs in the Premier League is nothing short of a miracle. But my God, 10 years, I mean... You know, put, put it this way, to put it into perspective, on FM13, I won my first trophy in the first season, of course. You may remember, if you can remember that far back, if any of you guys were subscribed to me, you may remember, of course, um, we got promoted to the Premier League immediately and we also got to the final of the FA Cup, which admittedly we lost against QPR of all teams. But, yeah, that's uh, kind of showing you the difference so far. Anyway, that is going to do it for me. I hope you have enjoyed that. Please give this video a like because I think uh, it deserves it. And... Um, yeah, I will see you then for the season review for 2022-23 uh, in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.